Ladies, before you get married, be a hoe. Before you get married, be a hoe. Be the biggest hoe you can be before you say I do to one flavor. You see, as men, we can say that body count matters and it's our standards, but it's just totally disregarded by women. Women would rather tell you, we don't care what your standards are. We're going to do what we want and we want you to accept us anyways. And then we have the beta males that go along with this nonsense and will marry someone like this. I want you to try as many flavors as you can, honey. Because when I tell you there are some flavors out there, whoo! Because when you get married, you're going to look back at all those other flavors you tried and you're going to be like, whoo boy, I had the time of my life. Because, you know, I had this Mexican flavor one time and, oh, he was my puppy and all of that. And then I had this Russian flavor. Oh my god and then honey if you cannot miss out on the african flavor i am talking oh okay so i decided to settle on vanilla flavor because you know i like my vanilla but honey most men have the least respect for women that do the most for them and it's sad but it's true wait so if you cook clean let me hit the skins we going 50 50. i'm not appreciative of that i'm gonna disrespect you for coming to terms with the things that I want, I'm not gonna respect you. It don't make sense. Like their rationale is don't make sense. I'm sure you've been there where you were like, if I just love him just a little bit harder, he is going to see everything that I am as a woman and that I am for him. But really it's just making him hate you more. He has less amount of respect for you because he knows that he can just do whatever and you're never gonna go anywhere. But of course, we got to remember when the Tyrones treat them bad, then they got to turn to that, uh, that ultra feminist, you know, bashing men and calling all men narcissists. And they got to turn to that when the top tier don't want nothing to do with them. And they want the top tier to want something to do with them. And this is why I talk so much about having that dark feminine energy tapping into that and learning how to decenter men. Now, when I say decenter men, people take it as, oh, just done with men. No, I don't know about you. I need a man in my life. What I mean by decentering men is not making them the center of your life. So women will get a man and then we just fall off the face of the earth. We're just like, oh, friends, family. Oh, no, my man. I'm with my man, my man, my man. Learn how to decenter men. Learn how to make yourself the center. When you make yourself the center, you have high standards, high boundaries, and you always put yourself first. And this is the world we live in where women think if they're married, they could still act like they single. If they have a boyfriend, they could still act like they single. There's a possibility that they can meet another man while they're in a relationship. And that may go somewhere. And they want that option. And they want you to be okay with that and they want the roles to switch or for you to compensate for them joining the work workforce to make their life easier and to put more pressure and stress on you let's talk about the top three up things men have said to me number one you're going to be alone forever because your standards are too high actually no i'm just going to be single for a little longer than i'd like to because i realize that settling to be miserable in a man's company is worse than being content all by my lonesome because really it's not lonesome when you realize the alternative is spending time with a chad number two if you want a man to pay for your dinner you're just a gold digger with nothing to provide actually i make my own money and you better believe in a relationship and certainly in my marriage i pull my own weight you see the thing with these modern women is they believe that them joining the workforce is benefiting you when they decide to want to be in a relationship with a man. But if a man wanted a family and he wanted to take care of his wife and his kids and one job wasn't sufficient enough to do that, then I'll get two or I'll get three jobs to make sure that I could take care of my family. I really don't need you as a woman to do any work. That's something that you want to do. And then we have to compensate you for wanting to join the workforce instead of just being what God made you to be a wife and a caretaker of, of a family.
Because how much would it cost you to hire someone who not only works and contributes to the bottom line, but also cooks, cleans, cares for you and your children, or for children in our case, makes sure the bills are paid, the house is functioning, and still has time to put on eyeshadow. In the words of Sword of MasterCard, there are some things money can't buy, a lot of those things are what women provide, and for everything else, there's your MasterCard, Chad. So I'll take the oysters to start, the filet mignon for my main, and three Grey Goose martinis. Thanks. Number three, and my ultimate favorite, I'm breaking up with you for your own good. It's the best decision for both of us, so I can explore my options and see if we're really meant to be together, because if we're meant to be together, we'll find a way back to each other. Buddy, you're not breaking up with me for my own good, you're breaking up with me for your own good, and that's okay because all is fair in love and war. But let's not serve up a platter of dog poo and call it chocolate. You're leaving me because you think you can do better than me. So my advice would be this, go do better because if we were meant to be together, you wouldn't need to find a way back to me. And by extricating yourself from my life, you may hurt me temporarily, but you will permanently leave space in my life for me to do better than a man who thinks I'm his backup plan. These women are a very big disservice to themselves. They chase after the chads. The, ch the chads treat them bad. Uh, they get what they want out of them. And we know what that is. And then they push them to the side. And uh, it's a continuous cycle. They're not really getting what they want, which is the men. They want to have a man to be in their life completely. Not just sexually and that's what's happening and they'll convince themselves that they want to continue to be in that cycle and that it's okay and uh that's true happiness in life instead of having a, a husband and having kids and grandkids and when you die then you you're living through your kids their selfish and selfishness is what's leading them they want the happiness for themselves and nobody else. So this is the modern woman. This is a fucked up generation and you guys are all cornballs and dorks. Soy boys with like all this privilege in your mind. And this is why I can't stand Pearl's content because it, all it does is enable you mentally to think that you're right when in reality you're all pussies. I posted a video of, of an Asian lady getting bullied in a Chinese restaurant and all y'all had to do is just open up your mouth and literally just shove this this loser out of the door and a lot of you are saying, well why should I? Feminism at its finest. Gender rules are only good when they benefit you. You see, the issue with modern women is when it comes to protecting them, we think about their bad behavior and what are we really protecting? We're gonna protect you with all this bad behavior and demonizing men and calling us toxic. But when it comes to a situation in reality where you need us to protect you, we're supposed to just drop everything and protect you. Men are saying, no, if you're gonna treat us bad and have bad behavior towards us, and demonize us then why should we pr protect you and that makes women mad like her she's but hurt she's letting us see how but hurt she is because we won't protect her but it's because of your bad behavior so eat it okay well then don't watch corn don't don't subscribe to of girls don't watch pearl's content because y'all only like females when it benefits you also Hi. don't call yourself a man it's embarrassing because there are men out there that will die trying to be a man than stand being a bitch. And the comment section just reeks of it. You know why? Because you guys spend your days on social media running your mouth, stuffing your mouth, but you will never be like that in real person. You'll listen to all this hip hop, rap music, talking about glocks and thug lifing, but in real life, Y'all can't live up to it. Oh no, that ain't my problem, that ain't my problem. Until a little black boy gets shot, it ain't my problem. Look, men, for the ones who don't, go out and get your gun permit. Get it legally. So you can have something that will always be by your side just in case something bad happens. These women love to run their mouth, but they really don't be saying nothing. They're not saying anything. They just mad because we're not going to bend to how they want us to be. And they don't want to bend to the way that we want them to be. So it's going to be a bunch of single people in this country. That's that's the path we're going down. But improve yourself. If you need a pistol permit, go get your pistol permit. The world is such a shitty place when it affects you. But when it affects anyone else, it doesn't matter. Because it's none of your business, right? You guys are the fucking problem. Anyone who doesn't like my content, block me. 
Do not follow me. I don't need a bunch of losers following me. It's funny to me when people say there's no gender war going on and marriage rates are declining and more people are choosing to be single and not want families and not want kids and these things that's going to continue civilization but you will sit up there and say there's no gender war and it there is when the man and the woman is not wanting to be together for a family for a family unit there's a gender war just because your lust and your desires and you just in it for the sex is your main motivation and you can deal with all the vitriol of the woman that the woman is throwing at us because you don't have to pay no attention because all you thinking about is screwing her don't mean it's not a gender war but yet they would love to make people believe it's not a gender war going on but it is if you're looking to have grandkids there's a gender war going on in this country